What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a fade in Procreate. Now as you can see I got a picture of a guy here and it looks like he just got his hair cut or whatever. We're going to give him a fade, you know, something like this, but as a gradient. So here's what I have in terms of layers so far. I got all my usual illustration layers and the highlights are already up here. I got my usual line work and that's pretty much it. We're ready to get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a shape for the fade. What does that mean? So you see the shape of that I have here on my hair? We're going to construct that kind of shape. So if I've actually already done it and I have it here in green and it's going to look something like this. Now I made it the color green. You don't have to make it green. You can make it any color you want. It really doesn't matter because we'll be getting rid of this later. But since I'm working with black hair, I'm not going to use black for this layer because it's going to work sort of like a clipping mask and we'll need to be able to differentiate between the skin and the hair. So whatever color you use for drawing the shape, don't use the skin color and don't use the hair color. So now that we got our shape drawn, next thing we're going to do is we're going to make another layer. I'm going to switch my color to the color of the hair. So this layer is going to be a clipping mask layer, but for now we're going to leave it how it is. And then now we're going to zoom into here and I'm going to follow the shape of the hairline. So that way it goes in the same direction when I make the gradient. But I'm not going to go over the entire clipping mask because like I said, we're trying to make a gradient. So we want kind of like a transition from the hair color to the skin color. And if we're going to cover up that entire shape, we might as well make it the same color as the hair. So yeah, I'm just going to go like halfway with it. At least leave some area shown. And now I'm going to make it into a clipping mask. So I'm going to tap on the thumbnail and hit clipping mask. Now it works just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the gradient. So I'm going to go up here to the magic wand tool and I'm going to hit Gaussian blur and I'm going to blur it like so. All right. And if I zoom in here, you can see that there's sort of a transition going on between the black we just added, which is the same color as the hair to the color green. That transition we can really have stay there, but in some cases you may want to stretch it out. So that way there's more of a transition going on in the shape of this fade. So, what I'm going to do is now that it's blurred and everything, I'm going to take my selection tool on that layer and, and I'm going to hit distort so I can kind of stretch it out. You can hit distort or freeform so that way the transition of it kind of moves instead of just the layer. All right. And now you got it to where you want it. So I'm going to zoom back out. All right. And now I'm going to take the fade shade layer, this green layer, and I'm going to tap it and hit select. Now we got the entire shape selected. Now down at the bottom, we're going to hit invert. So that way, whatever is outside of that shape gets selected. Now I'm going to tap on this black layer and then just drag it out like so. All right. And as you can see, now that black layer is the same shape, the exact same shape as this green layer, because like I mentioned from the beginning, we'll be getting rid of this green layer. So we're going to tap the thumbnail on this black layer take clipping mask off so that way it's just a regular layer and now moment of truth we're gonna get rid of this green layer boom there's your fade and as you can see we got sort of a gradient going on between the color of the hair and then to the skin tone another good part about this is you can still see the shape of the fade even without the green. That's because part of the transition that we had to move around and may have gotten out of this area, but that's totally fine. But of course, if you don't like how the fade turned out, all you gotta do is take this layer out and just do everything over again. But that's my video on how to create a fade in Procreate. So if you liked the video and you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I